hello and welcome to uh, today's stream. Uh, it's going to be a quick one, and today we are going to be uh, talking about um, the lottery, and more specifically, uh, the uh, the rationality of purchasing rationality of lottery tickets. is one topic is one topic uh, but more so and of course it should be without much uh, explanation of course that lottery tickets purchasing lottery tickets is uh, is an irrational lottery tickets is irrational behavior right Right, you can uh, like the odds of of winning the lottery versus uh, getting eaten by a shark, even if you're on land and, and in, a, in a gas station, is uh, like mathematically uh, arguably higher. Than, right, it's, again, probability is a is a beast of its own, as a, as any uh, introductory statistics course would teach you or tell you. Um, but if you think about it, right, so buying a lottery ticket, you're, and again, like to contextualize, like talking about it, because today apparently. Somebody did win uh, a nice uh, 780 million dollars, um, right? But again, right. So I think you know, like I don't think I, I don't know anybody personally who like I've never witnessed someone buy a lottery ticket that I know who's like a friend or family member. But I imagine we all know people who do, uh, like in the abstract. And of course, again, it, it's an irrational behavior, right? But again, humoring the idea of a Lottery ticket, and again, to uh, put a quick video, if you think about it, if if your chance of buying a lottery ticket, right, is extremely small, chance of winning lottery is like one out of BTC, right? Uh, so it's kind of like uh, like it's a uh, the curve is uh it can't go past uh it can't go past it's a it's a negative slope but it can't go past zero so it it, it can't go past zero right because if you buy a lottery ticket and, and that's kind of a point right if you don't buy a lottery ticket your chance of winning is zero percent if you do buy lottery ticket It becomes higher than zero percent instantly. It's again completely irrational behavior, hundred percent irrational behavior. Uh, plenty of better things you can do with the uh, however much money that you're spending. Even if it's two dollars, you just two dollars. If you again like model out like the time like the time value of money, or just compound it at whatever rate. The two dollars will be something like ten, twenty, and whatever amount of years. All right, but again, again right? It's again. Again, irrational behavior, completely irrational. Buying a lottery ticket. Uh, completely irrational, right? Again and again, if you do buy a lottery ticket, incredibly low odds. Odds of winning. Okay, as uh, as a, a, a bit too. Uh, so. Okay, All right. So the chance of winning the lottery ticket is uh, one in three hundred million, or a lot of zeros, or you know, have to use scientific numbers, scientific number to represent it, right? But again, again, humoring the idea. If you do buy a lottery ticket, your odd of winning is uh, is this. If you just if, if you buy one lottery ticket, a singular lottery ticket, you go from zero percent to this, and this is greater than zero. Let's uh, make this uh, font bigger. So. Okay. And so, uh, 
Okay. Right. So if you buy if you buy one lottery ticket, you go from zero to this uh, to this figure. If you buy one lottery ticket, and so and so in 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 the idea that anything it, like uh, I don't want to trip myself up on the technical math jargon, but but the idea is it's a it's literally a step function. Like the definition of a step function is this instant instant uh, instant leap and going from zero to buying one ticket if if tickets are to y and then uh, odds of winning actually okay and with that okay uh, all right so if, uh, zero zero tickets Okay. Actually, let's let's actually uh, draw a proper graph. All right. So we have tickets, and then you have odds of winning. Your probability of winning, right? If you're at zero tickets, no chance of winning. I might have my x and y axis not modeled the best, but but anyway, zero tickets, no chance of winning. If you buy one ticket, instant instantly end up there, right? So it's 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 a step function because you're going from zero zero to that percentage, one out of three hundred two point five million of a percent. But again, that one that one divided by three hundred two point five million million of a percent is is significantly greater than zero again to the idea that zero is a the most in, most important concepts ever ever derived um for uh mankind um humanity um again zero to this number is a and again, big isn't in the sense that, like those, those are good implied odds. You're like that's or it's a good expected value. Like I, actually, if you wanna, if you actually in, include, if you wanna calculate uh, the expected value, like still negative EV. I didn't, I didn't do the math myself, but I read something. It's like even if you uh, you you do the uh, you calculate like 1.4 billion, multiply it. Uh, the way expected value works, it's it's uh, like say 1.4 billion times um, odd of winning, and like you assume in times uh, number of tickets. Actually, yeah, uh, it's taking up like the one ticket. So pretty much 1.4 billion times this number, and that's like your expected value. And if I don't know what the price of a was it Mega Minions, <laughs> not Minions, not a, not that trend. Uh, Mega Millions. Uh, I don't, I don't know how much ticket costs, like two, four dollars. I don't know. But if it, if the if your expected value is greater than the two dollar, four dollar, the, the the cost of the ticket, then theoretically, like in, in like a broad mathematical sense, it would be rational to do the irrational behavior. Right, because you're, if in that case, then your expected value uh, is greater than your sunk cost, and so from a probabilistic stance, like it is a rational decision. And again, and so and, and the entire point of this is just, and let's finish out the, the picture. Um, then of course, then it instantly flatlines to an extreme logarithmic even to like one right so right because you buy one ticket you go from zero zero percent chance to this percent chance which is a significant step function but for every second ticket so so, so you're just you're just doing a Right, but from that point on, again, this is your odd. From zero to this is a significant, significant leap. But from this plus one 
So one over 302.5 million uh, plus to the next uh, 302.5 million, like that is uh, extremely not a step function. And so the entire point of this is saying that irrational behaviors can be rational. And this isn't to say that everybody who's buying a lottery ticket is thinking in a rational manner and arguably are likely behaving in what is entirely illogical, uh, inadvertently or intentionally. But again, this entire point is to say that irrational behaviors can be rational, whether it's in the you know, it's your standard expected value calculation or if if you think about it from just a very simple uh, fact that anything that moves your odds from zero to any number percent chance is a significant step up. Again, not in the sense that it's, it's a real percent, it's not a real probability, but the simple fact that going from zero to from having zero chance at all to however slim chance um, is from a rational, if you're from a from a game theory perspective, is a logical behavior. But so all this goes to say, if you do see your friend uh, buying one lottery ticket, then you know, then kudos to him. Maybe maybe he knows you know the value of the uh, of this step function, or maybe he ran some expected value calculation and uh, thinks to, and the expected value weighs out uh, is greater than the cost of the of the ticket. And maybe you can check his math on the expected value point. Uh, but again, just the 0% from being completely out to having some percent chance. Again, in the, the game theory probabilistic uh, conception is, uh, frankly, like it, it is a, ra a rational choice. And, and so uh, all of which to say, kudos to the, the people that, that have, the various people that have won uh want a powerball uh or anything else but again you know uh check out you know reduce some reading about expected value uh and also just you know let's think about again from zero percent to x percent like is it is a rational like again rational in in this in this sense versus like common sense is a not one of the same all of, again, all of which to say is that irrational behaviors can be rational. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, always best to prove out the math to back it up. But hey, I'm not going to, again, and again, I'm not buying a ticket. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to buy a lottery ticket. Although, again, maybe, uh, yeah, I'm not. But again, because again, like, but again, like, but I'm not going to judge somebody for buying a single lottery ticket because I, I can at a base I, at a very again again like it's not this, again it's an irrational behavior 100. percent But just from like the very like abstract game game theory perspective, like if I had to make a presentation for a game theory class, like I would, if I was feeling really lazy, I would just do a lottery ticket example, zero to one, oh, one over 302 million. I'll take those odds for a game theory class presentation. But hey, evidently for one person out of however many worked out. And so again, for the last time, irrational behaviors can be rational. And if you can have some nice fractions, a nice graph, a nice expected value calculation to back it up, then all the better. But on that note, thank you uh, for watching uh, and continue to be safe again irrational behavior uh, but again they can be rational so catch you in the next